Greetings, friends, and welcome back to the Aura News broadcast. It is now time for our English edition. As usual, I'm Daniel Cook, your host, six days a week, keeping you updated on what's going on here in Tirana. In today's news, the Albanian chief prosecutor was summoned before the Law Commission in order to give answer to some of the concerns of the socialist MPs. They demanded that the prosecutor give them some explanation of his previous statements when he said that some of the ministers of the government are currently under investigation. One deputy of the Socialist Party, Pandeli Maiko, told the chief prosecutor that this investigation is no way to solve the problems. The chief prosecutor responded, simply saying that this was their opinion and their problem, and that he believed the investigations would come up with solid and conclusive results. The following is just a piece of the dialogue between them. Pandeli Maiko said, Your statements that unpredictable things are going to happen because of these investigations are confidential information. How exactly do you want us to help you? You must be transparent for the sake of the people. We must understand what you want. What will we do in order to solve the problems that the European Union has put forward? The chief prosecutor responded, if you are concerned about the declarations that I made, then that is your problem. We are currently making some investigations, and they will yield concrete results. After this, the chief prosecutor requested the support of the government in the new budget of 2015. According to him, the prosecution needs some special equipment that cannot be obtained with the funds that have been granted them. Prime Minister Eddie Rama had some very good things to say today about his visit to Serbia. He spoke about the visit in very favorable terms. During a press conference, the head of the Albanian government said that his visit improved the relations between the two countries and that he feels that time will, will prove this. He said, we want to become friends with Belgrade, even though we have a long way to go. We do not want any more than what we deserve, emphasized the Prime Minister. During his press conference, Rama also spoke about the welcome that he received from the Albanians living in the Valley of Presheva. He said that the sooner Serbia recognizes Kosovo, the sooner things will improve for them. According to the Prime Minister, this visit was a historic event and he feels that it fulfilled its mission. However, he did express that he felt sorry about the declarations made by his Serbian counterpart. I am sorry that he sees things this way, he said. The invitation for Prime Minister Vucic to visit Albania remains open, and I hope that this visit will take place next year. The sooner they recognize Kosovo, the better they will feel, since they will be relieved from a heavy burden that they are now bearing. The United States ambassador to Albania also expressed his opinion today about the visit of Prime Minister Adi Rama to Serbia. Mr. Alexander Arvizu stated that the visit of Prime Minister to Serbia was both a very important and a very historical event. The ambassador added that it would be a very positive thing for the entire region if both countries would continue to show cooperation. He expressed his hope that Prime Minister Vucic will visit Albania next year. This was a very important visit, he said, and both governments must continue to cooperate. The United States consider this visit to be a historical one because 68 years is a very long period of time for the leaders of two countries not to meet with one another. The United States hope that this visit will serve as a bridge of cooperation between both of these countries. Mr. Arvizu added that if Vucic visits Albania, then this will be a very positive symbol for both countries as well as for the entire region and for Europe itself. According to the U.S. Ambassador to Albania, it is a very positive sign that both leaders agreed to meet, even after the incidents in the soccer match between Serbia and Albania. The head of the Human Rights Party paid a visit to Ora News last night and spoke about his party's alliance with Eddie Rama. On the show tonight, Il Vatare, the head of the Party for Unity and Human Rights revealed the bare facts about his alliance with the Prime Minister. He confirmed that his party's coalition with the majority is not working out very well. 
I have always thought that our country has never developed a good tradition of coalitions and cooperation, he said. Currently, there is no mutual cooperation between the parties of the majority. Before the elections, there were several meetings with the leaders of the different parties. But since the elections, they have not even met with us to thank us for our contributions to the victory. According to him, this lack of appreciation and coordination is only with the government since he has positive relationships with the Socialist Party. The parliamentary group of the Socialist Party does express more concern about its allies, but the, gover the government has done nothing to show its commitment to us, added the head of the Party for Unity and Human Rights during his interview on Oran News. In other news, it seems that there are still some Albanians who would like to see the country return to the communist regime. In the city of Elbasan, the veterans of the com communist period held a celebration commemorating the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Albania. During the gathering, they displayed images of the former Albanian dictator, Anver Hoxha, and praised his regime. Among them was a deputy of the Socialist Party, Mr. Ben Blushi, who was wearing a red scarf. The veterans were holding up signs that praised the communist dictator as well as the Albanian Communist Party. After this event, several people have accused Prime Minister Adi Rama of trying to keep the figure of Anver Hoxha alive. A former Prime Minister of Albania accused Adi Rama on Facebook, saying that he is trying to revive the image of the former dictator. Today, the head of the Democratic Party presented some of the concerns of the business sector about the newly released fiscal package. The head of the Democratic Party, Lulzim Basha, organized a meeting with the representatives of various business associations. He made the claim that Prime Minister Adi Rama has introduced a fiscal package that clearly discriminates against business owners. While admitting and accepting the mistakes made by the previous government, Mr. Basha said that the Democratic Party wants the government to remove this very high tax burden from the citizens and the businesses. We are not here to lecture the majority, but we are here as a responsible opposition, trying to fix our mistakes and fight for what is right, concluded the head of the Democratic Party, Lulzim Basha. The deputies of the Socialist Party discussed the issue of the excise tax today in the meeting of the Economic Commission. The Director of Customs stated that this decision was made after the companies started changing their methods in order to avoid this tax. In response to the excise tax, the head of the Economic Commission requested that people under the age of 18 should stop consuming energy drinks entirely. The increase of cigarette imports in order to avoid the increase of excise tax, has caused the budget a loss of 213 million lek. The fiscal package has already been approved, but it is expected that debates will continue inside the Commission. A few days ago, the head of the Democratic Party made, a, made an appeal to the farmers of the region to join in the coming protests. Today, the head of the parliament, Ilir Meta, made the promise that next year the government will strongly support all the farmers. During a meeting with the farming community, the head of the parliament stated that the new fiscal package will improve local production. He added that soon, the government will give strong support to the local farmers and their daily problems. He said that the government must organize an open discussion with farmers in order to clarify the new fiscal package. Dozens of students from the Faculty of Geology held a protest today directly in front of the Prime Minister's office. After the recent meeting of the government, the Prime Minister argued with the students and said that they must continue to study in the current facility. However, this answer was not accepted by the protesters. They want to change the mind of the government, which made the decision to give the geology building away to the Supreme Court.
Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the English Flash News at 6. Thank you for joining us. Please watch again tomorrow at the same time for more Albanian news in English right here on Ora News. Thank you and good night.